We're marking a bunch of fish out here in 20 feet of water. You can kind of see them here on the graph. We're gonna, I'm gonna let the school of fish go past me. Once I stop seeing them a little bit, I'm, then I'm gonna drop the buoy. That way my buoy's not in the way of where I'm trying to fish. But you can see them. When those bass, when they're bass, they're usually orientated horizontally on the bottom. When they stack up tall, that's usually not bass. Um, for whatever reason, that's not how bass like to group up, unless they're suspended high and really not active. Um, but these ones that are down here to the bottom, when they're bass, they're, they're kind of basically just lined all down here along the bottom. So that's uh, about the end of the school that I can see on here. I'm going to pitch my buoy out. Now I know the school's that side of the buoy. So we're going to spin around here and see if we can't catch some. We've been catching a bunch of fish on a shaky head. We'll, we'll give that a try and see if that works. So I'm going to show you, a lot of people ask me, well, can you show me what the bass look like on the screen? I'm going to show you here. The, the biggest thing with electronics is understanding your perspective. Um, if you look up here, this is where the boat is on a side screen. This is, this is side, side scan, uh, Lorentz structure scan. This is actually the HD uh, structure scan that comes with the Gen 2s. Um, so the boat's going to be positioned here, everything else as it scrolls away. So this is something we passed over, you know probably 80 feet ago. This is what we're passing over right now. Now with down scan, it moves um, right to left. So this is the stuff we passed, you know, about 80 feet ago. This is the stuff we are passing right now is along these numbers here. <clears throat> it works just like sonar. Sonar is the same way. It reads right to left. So as you're passing over it, you see the oscilloscope here. It, it draws what it's seeing as you're passing over it and then it's then it just kind of scrolls off the screen as you pass new stuff this older stuff just keeps scrolling left but you can kind of compare them and tell you know see here's the bass here's the same thing we're seeing you know this bass is kind of up off the ground on the sonar here he is right here on our down scan here he is right here on our side scan see three different views exact same thing right here that's why I like splitting the screen like this because it really helps you understand your sonar. So, but when, when the when I find the bass on the Tennessee River, I fish Kentucky Lake a lot. When I find the bass on the Tennessee River, when I know they're bass, they're orientated really close together, horizontally along the bottom. When they're stacked up really tall, I, I can show you some different screenshots and I'll try to capture those as we go. But usually, when you see big bunches stacked up tall on the screen, that's usually other things like yellow bass, white bass, crappie. Those type of fish like to group up into big balls, big stacks. When the bass, when I see the bass and they're on the bottom where I can catch them, I see them, they're marked horizontally down here. Now I do catch some suspended bass occasionally, but even then, what I'll see on my sonar when those suspended fish are feeding, you'll see these streaks. Because what you're doing is he's kind of underneath you and he's going like this, you know, chasing shad and stuff and they're zigzagging and you're continuously drawing them. So it, it, it usually makes lines when they're actively feeding up here suspended. So even then, you know, I'm still not looking for a big stack of fish just sitting there doing nothing. Those are generally inactive fish, and that's not what I want. Um, but you can tell from this screenshot, we, we saw a bunch of fish. We got to about here, and we threw our buoy. And then, as you see in the video, we uh, caught some nice fish out of that school.
Look how much he ate that. Oh, okay. Introducing the Trocar Hook, the first surgically sharpened fish hook. A weapon for fishermen who aren't just out to catch fish, but are out to win.